Hey guys, welcome to Analytics Vidya. With the advent of Gen AI, prompting has become an important skill to learn. If you are someone who is looking to up their prompting game, this is the only video you will ever need. Here we'll give you a simple five-step framework for writing prompts that give you the best results each time you interact with the generative AI models. By the way, guys, this is our second video in this uh, ongoing Generative AI 101 series. In case you missed uh, the previous one, look out for the link in the description. On this note, let's begin. You must have seen that some prompts generate super generic outputs while others give you precisely what you need. Getting good results is all about writing good prompts. Let me explain this with the help of an example. Let's say you are a student with a keen interest in data analytics. You plan to build a career in this domain and uh, decided to study it. Now, one of the first things you need to get started in this journey is a roadmap. So you go to ChatGPT and uh, put in this prompt. It gives a full blown output, but it is generalized. The output you see lacks personalization. And uh, do you know why this happened? This is because the prompt was unable to bring out what this LLM is capable of. Now, let us try the same task with this different prompt. You will act as a career guidance expert in the field of data analytics. I'm a BTEC final year student. I want to prepare for a role in the domain of data analytics. I have 12 months and uh, I can give two hours a day. Based on this background, I want you to give me a detailed week by week roadmap to become a data analyst in a tabular format. Mention the subjects, how many hours to invest, the subtopics and uh, where should I study it from. Plus rank the subjects uh, I should study according to their importance and provide the percentage of their importance in the table. Also, as a career guidance expert, give me some challenges faced in the domain of data analytics in bullet forms after the table. And voila, look at the output now. This time, the output is much more detailed and personalized. As you saw, the new prompt showed what the LLM model is capable of. So what changed this time? Well, the second prompt has five key elements which are a must in any good prompt. These five elements are persona, context, task, input and format. Let's break them down one by one to see how they can bring the best out of an LLM like ChatGPT. The very first element we used is Persona. Here you can ask the Gen AI model like ChatGPT or Bard to assume a role. In this above example, we have asked ChatGPT to act as a career guidance expert. There are more things you can do. Like if you are someone looking for financial advice, you can ask the model to act as Warren Buffett. What is the logic behind this? This helps in increasing the AI's accuracy while answering a question. Not just that, Persona allows us to control the style, tone and depth of the generated text, making it more suitable for specific context or audience. The next key component is context. While writing a prompt, context is any relevant information that uh, you want the model to use while performing the instruction for you. But while writing context, be careful about the amount of information you are putting in, as too much information could actually confuse the model, resulting in poor outputs. So be specific and focus on the things like uh, the background of the user, what are you trying to achieve, and the immediate environment. In our example earlier, we have done the same. A student trying to enter the domain of data analytics and uh, can only give two hours uh, a day to study. Remember that a generic prompt to chat GPT will result in a generic response. So it is very, very crucial to add context. All right, the next element is task. As the name suggests, here you have to be crystal clear with your task or uh, what you expect the model to do. And the rule of thumb is to always start the sentence with an action verb, generate, give, write, analyze, create, etc. This is always followed by clearly saying what your end goal is. For example, you could ask uh, for one simple task like give me a list of places one can visit in India, write me a song in the style of Shakespeare. Or it could be a three-step task, something which we did in our example earlier on. First, we asked for uh, the roadmap, then ranking the subjects according to the specific requirement. And finally, asked the model to give a few challenges with career switch. That's all about task. So a task can be a straightforward question and it can generate a straightforward answer. But if we need to solve a complex task, we need to add context. So context is as important as task. Now let's uh, look at the next element. The fourth element is input. Using input uh, in your prompt drastically improves the quality of the output of a prompt. An input could be anything. It could be example given to guide a model to the uh, result you want. Something like this. Uh, input could be additional information as well. Let's say you want a cover letter and you want it to be personalized. So you add your resume as input text along with the job description. That is all about input. Including a relevant input in your prompt will greatly improve the quality of your output from the model. The final important step in this framework is the format. This element in your prompt can give you a clear as well as organized output. 
in our roadmap example we have decided to bring out the output in a tabular format this is just one use case you can uh, even give an article or ask a question and order the model to summarize in the bullets format look the trick is simple before writing a prompt you may visualize what kind of output you want what would uh, look good for your requirement and instruct the model to do the same i hope the five element framework is clear to you guys involving this will boost your prompting game by miles we have shown you guys a bunch of examples already now let's discuss another hands on example of how this framework actually works let's say you want a diet plan to lose weight a generic approach would be something like this it does uh, give an output but this could be so much better so let's write a prompt using our uh, five step framework now first we will give persona then we will add the context followed by task we will give examples we want to add finally the format in which we want the output to be and voila look at the output now it is much more detailed personalized and the prompt brings out the real capabilities of the language model so next time when you are writing your uh, prompt make a mental checklist of all of these five components and every time you write a prompt you will get a mind blowing output each and every time guys that's all we had for you today next time when you are writing prompts you may use this uh, five step framework as you guys uh, saw how important it is to include relevant task context and examples along with impersonation and format if there is anything else uh, we could add let us know in the comments below we'll soon be coming up with more tips for uh, writing good prompts till then goodbye and happy prompting to you